Gold all in my chain. Gold all in my watch. Don't believe me, just watch. Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome for the first time. I'm super excited about this week since this week we are going into my favorite color, which is gold and purples. So purple is definitely one of my favorite colors and I'm super excited about this dramatic purple smoky eye that we're going to do today. And so we're going to just jump right into it. Stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoy. First is we're going to go in with our Lorac Pro Edition 1 palette. We're going to use the color mauve. With that color, we're going to add in our crease color, which means we are gonna go from the ends of our eye all the way to the other side. So we're gonna connect the top part of our eyelids in the crease, and we're not gonna go anywhere into the lid area here, or we're not gonna to touch the brow bone. So it's just strictly more of a definition for later on that it's just a light purple that we're gonna put here in these areas here for the crease. Our next step in making our smoky eye is going to be going into the same exact palette, which is the Lorac Pro Edition 1 palette. And we're going to go in with the color Deep Purple. And with that color, we're going to make the darkness and the depth of our eyes. So we're going to put it in the creases of our eye, and we're going to just kind of dab it on. Now this does kind of get a little bit messy because this powder does drop a little bit. So if you want to kind of brush or flick off the remaining residue of the powder, that's okay. But we're going to press in onto our lids, and we're going to kind of go all the way until mid-center, and then we're gonna stop. So it's kind of a little bit of a mess at first, but then once you go in with a clean, fluffy brush and you blend it out, then the lines kind of gradually go in together and they start blending. And that's when we make everything nice and, and pretty and everything is kind of meshed together. But this is definitely more of the messier side of things. So to clean out, I'm just gonna take a couple Q-tips and put it in some lotion. That is good for your face and it doesn't help you break out. But um, I am gonna take a Q-tip, put some lotion on it, and I am going to clean up the underside of my eye. And I'm also putting it in an angle to where that it kind of cuts the end of the eye into more of a triangular shape. You don't have to do it in this type of shape. I just want this type of look for the purple smoky eye. So it's completely personal preference. Next we're gonna go into the Lorac Edition 2 palette, which is the Pro palette, and it's also the gray palette. So with that, we're going to dip into the colors beige and snow, mix those together a little bit, and then I'm going to follow in the bottom part of my eyebrows. So it's just following the brow bone, not where there's any purple, not where there's any color, but I am gonna brush it in with an angled brush. And then I'm gonna take a clean brush and just buff out the line in between the purple and the highlight. That way, again, everything is smooth, everything is great, everything is pretty. Okay, so to complete the eyeshadow portion of the top lid, I'm gonna go into the Lorac Pro Edition 2 palette, and I'm gonna use the color Plum for my eyelids. So I'm gonna go in with the brush, I'm gonna dip it in the color. Again, the powders kind of come off a little bit, so you may have a little bit of a droppage, which is okay, just clean it up with the Q-tip and the lotion. But we're gonna take in the color and we're going to press it into our eyelids. We're gonna go from every end to our eyes, so you know, inside to the outside, and then we're gonna even kind of go up. And I usually don't do this, but I am gonna kind of brush it up into where the deep purple was. That way it kind of fades in. And then I'm gonna take a clean fluffy brush and, well, it's not clean anymore because it's the same exact brush that I've been using to blend out all the purples and I'm going to blend in just that area, not too much touching the corners or the ends, the higher ends of my eye. That way everything kind of meshes and blends together, and it's not just a big blob of purple. You can see the definitions between the plum, the mauve, and the deep purple. It's a little bit more of a transition. So the next thing we're gonna do is go in with the um, black gel eyeliner and with that we're going to make our wing liner with an angled brush and how you can do that if you want a step-by-step -step tutorial I will link down the video that I've done before on a winged liner look that way you guys can check it out but it's super simple super easy but we are doing more of a bold thicker type wing liner it's not necessarily for everyone but if you're going for a purple smoky eye I kind of feel like you're the one that's going for it so uh, go ahead, check that video out, and I'll link that down below. Okay, so we are going to go in with uh, Demi Wispy Lashes from Namie's, and with that being said, we're going to put on some falsies and give us some lashes. So we're going to go in with some black glue, 
We're gonna put on our lashes, let it dry a little bit, and then we are going to place them on our actual lash line. Let that dry a second, and voila. Okay, so we're gonna go in now and we are going to conceal. So with that being said, we're gonna use the ELF HD Lifting Concealer in the color light, as well as the ELF Under Eye Conceal and Highlight in the color light. So even though they're both the same name, I do think that the HD Lifting is just a little bit deeper than the highlighting one that is the light. So we're going to make our warrior dots, as I call it, and we're going to just put in the dots all the way up from our eye sockets up to our temples here, and then we're going to blend it in using also our brush and then a, our beauty blender. And then with that, after we're done, we're going to set it in with the Tim 2 finishing powder in the color 1 light. And that way it sets itself, it, there's no creases, there's no lines, everything is kind to stay in place, which I like. After that, we're gonna go back to our Lorac Pro 2 palette, and this is the gray palette. We're gonna go in with the color Plum, so it's the same color we have on our eyelids. Now, I'm gonna take a brush, and I'm gonna brush over my bottom lash lines and kind of smudge it out to give myself that under eye, smoky eye type look. We're not gonna do too much, too dark. I'm just kind of going a little bit in between, and I'm even kind of extending it to where my eyeliner is so everything is still connected from top and bottom. Lastly, we are going to go in with the Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara. And with that, we're going to brush over our bottom lash lines just so that we have a definition and the same amount of darkness on the top and the bottom and it evens out. So I'm going to go in now with my Too Faced Chocolate Soul. Soul? So it's in the Medium Deep Matte Bronzer. And if I said that wrong, which I'm 1000% sure that I did, I'll make sure that I have it down below so that, that way you guys actually know what the product is. But um, I am going to go in and put a little bit of color in all the places that need a little help. So I'm going to go into the hollows of my cheek, temples, forehead area, even a little bit on my jawline. That way, you know, we have that contour to us but it's not necessarily a contour it's more to kind of just chisel things out because I do like being bronzed it's just nice it's nice my last bronzer I'm going to do since I always put multiple bronzers on top of each other because like I said I like being bronze so I am going to go in with the wet n wild starlight bronze and I'm going to take more of an angled brush and then I'm going to even more so chisel out what I want so it's I focus actually more on the hollows of my cheek, that way I have more of a cheekbone. And so I kind of do the three here, so I'm going from forehead a, bit, a little bit above the temples, all the way down to the lip, and then all the way down to the chin. So again, it's the same areas, it's just not as harsh on foreheads and on chins, it's more focused on the hollows of my cheek. And that also has a little bit of a sheen to it, so it is a little shimmery, which makes me sun-kissed. Yay! Okay. So we're going to go in again with the Too Faced Sweethearts Perfect Flush Blush in the color Something About Berry. Now we are going to smile at ourselves, as psycho as that may sound, but we are going to do the apples of our cheeks, so when you smile, these little areas here, and then we're going to make a U into our ear area here, so where the tragus would be here, and to our, the apples of our cheeks. I kind of went a little bit more into where my bronzes were, so everything would fade just a tiny bit, but it is more focused on the apples. And this also has a little bit of a sheen to it, so I'm going to be dewy. You can definitely replace one of these products if you're not necessarily into the shimmer look or to the dewy look so if you want more of an all matte look you can absolutely do that it's a lot it's really easy you just swap out the products for another one that you like so to finish this look i'm going to go in with the nars orgasm lip gloss and i'm just going to put on lip gloss i'm not putting on any type of lip liner or anything like that i just want the sheen of the lips to be seen so that is about it and that is the last step and there you have it there is your purple smoky eye all right guys there it is there is the dramatic purple smoky eye i hope you guys enjoyed this one because this was seriously really fun to do it's completely different than what I've done before. So if you guys do recreate this look, please hashtag Raimi Makeup and I do hair and makeup artistry. That way we can see all your inspos that are out there. And maybe we'll get to the point where I can like feature you guys or something on our Instagram, because that would be super cool. So again, 
just leave me any feedback, any comments, anything you might like to see in the future. Let's communicate. Let's bring it on. So uh, until next week, I will see you then.